Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Figured I'd come on here with the second video of the day to tell you about a victory. Every now and then, we gotta talk about the good stuff too. Stick by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey guys and gals, thank you for your time. I appreciate you all watching so much more than you could possibly realize. Let's talk about Philadelphia. If you're not paying attention, uh, Philadelphia has been one of those cities that have been shut down again, if you're a Second Amendment lover, because of <coughs> stuff. And there are a couple other places that have followed along, but Philadelphia, uh, they tried it and gun owners of America stepped up and took action against them, citing excessive delays in issuing licenses to carry firearms. And it looked to force the city of Philadelphia to accept applications for licenses to carry firearms, or LCTFs. Why should that be an issue, you ask? Well, like I said earlier, uh, Philadelphia decided that, you know, we're going to stop. We're not going to rec recognize anybody's Second Amendment right because of a sickness. It doesn't work that way. It really doesn't work that way. Uh, so I am happy to tell you today that as of this past Monday, day and a half ago, uh, Philadelphia Police Department are now accepting applications for licenses to carry firearms electronically. Now, part of GOA's lawsuit was to force them to accept applications within the time frame allotted in the law and also offered them to the opportunity to like save face and to accept applications through alternative means, like many other places across the country started to do when they said, you know, maybe bringing four, five, six hundred people into the police station might not be uh, smart at this time, so let's think of other ways. And a lot of places have worked around that. Now, once this lawsuit was filed, the city added a second shift of detectives to process uh, these applications, and they were processing them five days a week uh, for two shifts, which definitely sped up the process while they were trying to catch up to the process. However, on November 18th this year, 2020, uh, they decided, they being the Philadelphia Police Department, decided to close down their gun permit unit. That's what they actually call it, the gun permit unit, GPU. Now, GOA at that time said, hey, what's going on? Why are you closed? Uh, and they were told that they would open again on December 7th. Now, that didn't happen uh, because of the increase in outbreak numbers. But what they did do was they started taking these applications electronically via email, which was part of GOA's lawsuit, giving them another way, giving the citizens another way to uh, exercise their Second Amendment rights within the city of Philadelphia. Now, I'll give you a couple quick quotes from uh, GOA here first. Uh, and this is from uh, Andrew Austin, who was an attorney for GOA in this case. He said, while it was unfortunate for the officers, the COVID exposure was proof positive that the city's system did not work. The city represented to the court that the unit would reopen on December 7th, and when they couldn't do so, they had no other choice but to concede and begin accepting applications by alternate means. Now, Val Fennell, who is the head of GOA, he's the state director in Pennsylvania. You've seen him here on this channel before. He had this to say. I am also pleased that the GPU is beginning to accept LTCF applications again. We are reminding applicants that the GPU has 45 days to issue their LTCF. If not, I've asked them to contact us if they experience delays. So this here is another uh, small example of the work that Gun Owners of America is doing to help folks who are uh, being wronged when it comes to the Second Amendment. If you live in Philadelphia and you're not a member, or if you're watching this video and you're not a member of Gun Owners of America, please click the link down below and sign up. It's gunowners.org slash guns gadgets. I get nothing out of it, not a nickel, but what it does is it gets you a cheaper rate on whatever option for membership you choose. Just a little attaboy for those members of the Guns and Gadgets community. And again, thank you to Gun Owners of America for doing that. So just a little uh, victory call here. Unfortunately, we had to do this. It's crazy, but when you're facing tyrants, you can never count them out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Like I said, way more than you realize. If you'd like to help support this channel, you can check out the links of our affiliates down below as well as Patreon. I would be humbled if you would consider those. 
and please help this channel, help the news and the word get out. Hit the thumbs up to destroy the anti-gun algorithm that exists for whatever reason, and share this with about 2,021 of your friends. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry your weapon. Take care, everybody.